Well, I think I think the election was uh, great last night. I thought it was great. I thought the uh, results were it was a great comeback for Joe Biden. Incredible comeback when you think about it. But if you would have looked, if Elizabeth Warren would have done what she probably should have done from their point of view, uh, he would have won, right? He would have won a lot of states, including Massachusetts, probably Texas, definitely Minnesota. So Bernie would have won uh, states that uh, he lost, and he lost fairly easily. But in particular, Massachusetts, I would say Minnesota in particular. I would also say Texas and uh, some others. So uh, had she, I, I put something out on it this morning. She was really a spoiler because other people got out in those votes and knew it to Joe. And uh, those people really helped Joe, you know, by getting out early, by the couple that got out and did the endorsement. Uh, in the case of Elizabeth Warren, had she gotten out, uh, it would have been a very different situation, I think. It would have been a very different night. Just that one simple move, had she left, you pick up Massachusetts, Minnesota, and probably Texas. And those are the three I checked. I would imagine there are others that he would have picked up, too. So Elizabeth Warren was the single biggest factor in that election last night. Uh, it would have been a very different thing, and not in a positive way for her, in a very selfish way for her. She was very selfish from that point of view. Now, do I care? No, because we're just waiting to find out who we're running against. But when you look at it, pretty incredible. If she would have, if she would have gotten out and endorsed, even if she didn't, she didn't even have to endorse. I think there's a lot of bad blood there. But had she gotten out and endorsed, uh, he would have been uh, a lot better off. What do you think happens now? Well, now I think it's a very tough. Uh, I think it's tough. I think Joe has an easier path right now. Believe it or not. Uh, I see Minnie Mike just got out, and he's going to, you know, try and save face by putting some money into Biden's campaign. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think that's going to have an impact. You know, you got to look. If money has to be spent wisely. One thing this whole thing has shown that you can't buy an election. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Steyer put in $250, $300 million, and now who knows where he is. He's home probably licking his wounds. And Bloomberg put in probably a billion dollars. And, you know, sometimes you just don't have what it takes. And I said to him, it's not easy doing what I did, is it? So it's one of those things, you know. But uh, it's going to be very interesting to think that this would have changed so much. Because if you go before Saturday, before South Carolina, I mean, uh, he had — Joe had absolutely no chance, according to you people. But they used to say that about me, too. Not as much, though. I think I, I always felt that a very good chance. But I'd watch, and they'd say, well, it can't happen. But it happened, and it happened pretty easily. Um, I think now it's — I think Joe actually would have the advantage now. You know, if you look at the states he's going to with Florida and others, I think he's got an advantage in those states. But What do you make of the stock market's reaction today? It seems like there's been a sign of relief that — I think there is. I think — well, I've said from the beginning, it's partially this. It's a, you know, big part of this, but it's also the fact that they didn't like seeing what they're seeing. But they don't like — they don't like Joe, either. Joe's become — you know, he's — a lot of people are with Joe. If you look at those people, they're worse than Bernie in terms of being radical left. I mean, some of Joe's handlers — and that's what they are, is handlers. I want to be nice, but they are handlers. Some of Joe's handlers are further left than Bernie. That's pretty scary. So think, it's going to be that way. Yeah. Do you think Bloomberg's money will be more powerful without Bloomberg himself in the race? I mean, he said he's going well, to continue to spend. it could be less powerful, because look what a billion dollars did. He won nothing. I mean, he got so few delegates. It's incredible. I would say probably, well, I know, now he's doing that because, you know, he's spiteful, and he's a spiteful guy. I know him well. He's a very spiteful guy. He's very upset. Uh, he made a fool out of himself, to be honest with you, and it's uh, — he's not too happy about that. I think the first thing he should do is fire his political consultants, because I could have told — I know him. I could have told him very easily, you can't win. You can put two billion in, you can't win. Okay, thank you, everybody. Right,